Okay, so we're asked to solve this, and it looks quite complicated, but a little bit of a tip I'll give you. If you ever see an uh, expression on the top or bottom of a fraction, just put brackets around it, okay? Right, so I'm going to draw my lines, and I always draw my lines. There we go. And that's where the equals goes when you solve. And I need to find out how to get rid of, well, first of all, that fraction. I've got to get rid of that fraction. So I'm going to times both sides by that bracket that I've made at the bottom. I'm going to show the examiner what I'm doing. So there's no equals on this line. Okay, so when I times it, um, times the left-hand side by that bracket, I just get the 82. Oh, that's good. No more fraction. But on the right-hand side, I've got the 2 times that bracket. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is expand that bracket. So I could do that in my head, or I could do a little grid up here. Either way, it's absolutely fine. So we're doing 2 times 3x plus 5. Okay, so 2 times 3x is 6x, and 2 times 5 is 10. So I'm not really doing anything to the equation. I'm just expanding the bracket on the right, so that's going to be 6x plus 10. Then I'm going to take away 10 both sides. So we've got 72 equals 6x. And I'm going to divide both sides by 6. So that's going to be 12 equals x, or better, isn't it, to have the x on the left-hand side. And you can switch over the equation anytime. So x equals 12. Now we can check that by putting the 12 into that. So 82 over 3 times 12 plus 5. And checking to see if it equals 2, which it does.